He spent decades behind bars, but now a wrongfully convicted Chicago man is free and seeking justice. Jimmy Soto filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Chicago and the officers responsible for his conviction. Charlie Jahusky is here now with his story today. Charlie. Well, Alex, his name is James Soto. He prefers to go by the nickname Jimmy. And while he was in prison, he earned his bachelor's degree from Northwestern University. Now he wants to move on to law school, but before he does, he wants justice from a system he says framed him for a murder he did not commit. When Jimmy Soto walked out of Stateville Prison late last year, he was officially the longest serving man wrongfully convicted in the state of Illinois. Now he is suing the city of Chicago, Chicago police and the Cook County State's Attorney in federal court. What is just compensation? What does it look like? You know, 100 million, 150 million, 200 million? I would say I'm deserving of probably 200 plus million of what I've been through. Soto is now a free man and wants his time behind bars to send a message to the people who put him there, including disgraced CPD detective Ronaldo Guevara. My life that's been broken in a thousand pieces, but the message to send, a, you know, that shot over the bow to say, this is intolerable, inexcusable for this to happen to someone like me. One study found that over a five year period ending last year, Chicago taxpayers alone paid more than $150 million to resolve lawsuits bought by more than three dozen people wrongfully convicted based on evidence gathered by Chicago police. He sued the, a number of Chicago police officers who participated in his wrongful conviction and he sues the city of Chicago itself, Chicago Police Department for its policies and practices that lead to way too many wrongful convictions. For Soda, the toll of his wrongful conviction has been painful. To get to this point now, to me, is, is really surreal. To be in Lincoln Hall at Northwestern University and now announcing the lawsuit that, in a sense, will be justice. But I would ask, what really is the measure of justice for someone who spent 42 years in prison? We reached out to the Cook County State's Attorney and the City of Chicago's Law Department. While well, they say they have not yet seen the federal lawsuit, they say it is the policy of their offices not to comment on pending litigation. Back to you, Alex and Marion. Charlie, thanks so much.